Hey guys, Kieran here, and man, has it been a while since I last posted a video. School and sports have really gotten in the way, same with Tyrone, so it's been hard for us to post a video. And school will be ending in the next uh, week or so, so we'll have two months off and we'll have lots of time to post videos. So I thought I'd create a new series where I start off completely fresh with a new Ultimate Team and a new Gamer Tag. And um, I'd trade my way to either 100k, 500k, or million coins based on your guys' reactions. I will not be playing any games, I'll just be purely trading. To start off, I'll be sending every player and uh, consumable to the trade pile for 200 coins overnight and see if any of them really sell so I can get a jump start to the series. If some of them don't sell, I'll just probably discard them. Um, I've done this before uh, on another account just to see how I could do and to be honest I've done really well with this uh, kind of scenario. I think I got to around 100k coins by only using the web app so I thought I'd restart this and show you guys my tips because I feel I'm a pretty good trader. Um, my gamer tag is Hasley with three eyes. Hasley is the last name of a Vancouver Whitecaps player in the MLS. Uh, his name is Eric Hasley. Some say he is the Heskey of the MLS. But I think otherwise. Yeah, um, he's a powerful force in the air, and he can also throw some bodies around, and also with a great shot. Last year, he was a nominee for MLS Goal of the Year, and also this year, I think he will be as well. I'll show you guys some clips of uh, some of his goals later on in the series. So by putting the cards up overnight for 200 by now, I was able to give myself a 1500 coin profit, which is plenty enough to start trading already. And the rest of the cards that don't sell, I'm just going to discard. When you're around the 2,000 coin mark, I'd suggest searching for silver or bronze players at around 500 coins or less. Uh, the league that you want to search for is usually a league that you're comfortable with and you know the prices of players and what you can sell them for at their maximum price. So for me, I like to search for silver Brazilian players at 500 coins or less. And I'm searching around for players that I can know I can sell for a little more. That Arujo, I know I can sell for 500 by now, so I place a bid on him. That Guerrero, I know I can sell for more, and also that Aranya in a 4-4-2. Formations also are important as, uh, say, a 4-1-2-1-2 formation would sell for a lot more, like right here for Alan Patrick, than for an Alan Patrick in the 3-4-3 formation. If you get outbid at this stage, don't worry, there'll be other players up for sale that you can pick up and sell for profit. Another league that I'm comfortable with is the MLS League because that is my uh, hometown league. Um, I'm searching bronze center backs, uh, no more than 200 coins. Good center backs to uh, buy low and sell for a higher profit are center backs usually with higher pace, like Atacora from San Jose or White from DC United. I know White can sell for around uh, 1,000 coins with a four back formation. I still put a 150 coin bid on Atacora. Uh, even though it's not a four back formation, I know I'll still sell him for more because he is a car that is in higher demand because of his pace. So right now I'm just looking for another player to put a 200 coin bid on so I can get rid of my coins and start making my profit and selling them overnight. And I found a Francis here to finish off uh, my coin total. And the players I've bought are Rodriguino, I think is how you say it, 4 star skills from the Liga do Brazil. My next player is Wellington, 4 star skills in a great formation from the Liga do Brazil. Tebert from my Vancouver Whitecaps, who has four star skills. Francis with 83 pace. Uh, Atacora with a high pace for a center back. And Peralta, who is a quite a beastly uh, striker. I also got Alan Patrick in a great formation. I know I'll make some coins off him. And White, also in a great formation, who is just an outstanding center back. I'm going to put the cards up for overnight, and hopefully when I wake up, they'll all be sold. And guys, let me know what you think of this series and if I should continue it. Uh, also, it's good to be back, and please leave a comment and like the video if you enjoyed it. Okay, guys, we'll see you next time.